John Fetterman is running for a Pennsylvania Senate. He's trying to be a senator, okay? And that's fine. Um, but five months ago, he had a stroke. What I'm about to show you is actually wackier and funny. You couldn't have run. If you were making fun of fucking retarded people, this is exactly what you did. This man, who's about six foot eight, and he looks like Lurch from the Adams family, is running for Pennsylvania Senate. Brace yourself, mother. Because due to his stroke, Fetterman required special dispensation. You may notice these large monitors that are behind us. This is part of our closed captioning system. It was requested by John Fetterman to help him process the questions that we are asking him. Oh, he can't, he can't, re he can hear it, but he can't register. Register. Yeah. yeah, or something, I guess. So the show must go on. He has to be in this debate. Get ready. What qualifies you to be a U.S. Senator? You have 60 seconds. Hi, good night, everybody. <laughs> Come on. No. No. no, I told you. Like, how funny would it have been if he just walked off stage? Like, good night, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. It's like he pressed the wrong button in his brain. Like, I was told growing up that being a senator is important. It's not. It's a bunch of bullshit. Politics are for people that are just power hungry maniacs. So, and it doesn't stop there. One of the most remarkable exchanges was about Fetterman's views on fracking. I really support fracking. I believe that we need independence with energy, and I believe I've walked that line my entire career. You have made two conflicting statements regarding fracking. In a 2018 interview, you said, quote, I don't support fracking at all. I never have. But earlier this month, you told an interviewer, quote, I support frack the energy independence that we should have here in the United States. I've always supported fracking, and I always believe that independence with our energy is, is critical. We can't be held, you know, uh, you know, ransom to somebody like Russia. But there is that 2018 interview that you said, quote, I don't support fracking at all. So how do you square the two? I can't believe you made me say uh, I, I I do support fracking. I don't I don't support it now. I support fracking, and I stand, and I do support fracking. <laughs> <laughs> so he supports fracking, and he is standing. He stands. Right I stand, and I I support fracking. <laughs> like I mean, really, it's he, fucking cruel to make this guy standing. run for office, but they don't care. They don't care. But it doesn't end there. The abortion decision should be left up to states, and specifically when John Fetterman wants- You roll with Doug Mastriano. John, when I'm done, you're you're John, moment, you'll have your turn, moment, John. I've talked to families. You want to cut Social Security. M Mr. Fetterman, it's his turn for his closing. What? That was Oz's closing. So if you know anything about debates, you get to argue back and forth and yell at each other and do, do all that stuff. But everybody respects when you close, you close. And then he starts just yelling, You said this, you don't support Social Security! What? You roll with Doug Mastriano. You you said Keffels was a man. You know, like just out of nowhere, just screaming like screaming like crazy stuff. I, I don't know if this is true, but they said that the um there was something wrong with the closed captions. I don't think that's the case. If that, <laughs> I, I think I, I, I think it's the guy. Like yeah, it's on the side. They don't they don't care. It could be a brainstem, a cadaver, a fucking pet cat. You know, it, it doesn't matter. Guy with half a brain. Yeah. And it, and it would not matter. He's an oblivion NPC. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny point. May you rest in peace. Hold on. I want to try this. I, I want to try this. You know, you know, ransom to somebody like Russia. But there is that 2018 interview that you said, quote, I don't support fracking at all. So how do you square the two? Uh, I, I I do support fracking, <laughs> and I don't I don't I support fracking, and I stand and I do support fracking. <laughs> the oblivion yep. meme is like amazing. Yeah. It is really an amazing meme. Yeah, yeah, it's like top ten memes. Yeah, it really, it really is top ten. All right, let's keep going.
Like, Jesus Will you Christmas. pledge tonight to release those records in the interest of... He's talking about his health records, by the way, which he refuses to release. No, I wouldn't either. No, <laughs> fine. Transparency. You have 60 seconds. No. Uh, to me, for transparency is about showing up. I'm here today to have a debate. I have run a campaign, and I've been very transparent. Didn't hear you say you would release your full medical records. Why not? You have 30 seconds. No. Uh, yeah, again, my Dr. L believes that I'm fit to be serving, and that's what I believe is where I'm standing. <laughs> I want to see his fucking MRI, because, like, come on. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. dollar tax break, you know, about his farm <laughs> in Montgomery County. So it's about supporting and helping, you know, young earners, excuse me, young, uh, young, uh, Young you know, students, to, to give them a break. I believe that that supporting. Uh, I don't ever recall in the Statue of Liberty did they say, you know, you know, take our tired huddle masses and put them on a bus and use cheap political stunts. <laughs> I believe we have to develop a comprehensive and bipartisan solution to, to address our issue here, for <sighs> immigration here in our nation. How could they do that to him? It's cruel. It's I, I mean, his wife said something like completely bizarre too. Like, uh, if this, if we were in a schoolyard, um, Doctor Oz would be disciplined for how he's treated my husband. I think we're not in a schoolyard, you fucking bimbo. <laughs> like, this is this is you running for office here? <laughs> like, I mean, what kind of crazy. wife is she? You know, I, I I'd like to think that my wife would tell me like, you know, I love you so much. We're gonna have you at home now or whatever. Or look, you need a couple years. You might, we got to work on this before you, we'll get you back here if we can do it. But I mean, I'd like to think that she wouldn't let me like do that to myself. Set. You imagine this? No, no, hi, man. I miss my kids. No, man. But am I fighting with Kim Sa? Um. Fuck you, Cavos! <laughs> you know, I mean, like, really. Like, stop me. Like Smaggle wants to run for office? I, he's more qualified. <laughs> you know, I, like, he is. Like, he's, like, like Smaggle has a list, but he has all his faculties. Oggy, 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 yes, and I mean, it's one thing if it's like there's a guy in a wheelchair. You can't run for office because you're in a wheelchair. All right, that's fucked, but you can't run, you know. You can't run for office because you're you you have scrambled eggs for brains. It's a legitimate point. <laughs> you know, they really gotta take intelligence tests or something. They, 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 they might they might you know you might have to make that a law. You gotta pass a, a cognitive test or something. They should like show show him a bunch of a bunch of shapes, a bunch of colors, and, and just like yeah, match them or something. Because like, come on. All right. So what is this? Blue flowers. Blue flowers. Blue flowers! All right, we have calls. Yeah. Uh, you're on the air. I just want to talk about the fucking careful shit. All right. Because the thing I've realized about people like Kefels and like Lens Jones and all that shit, they don't really care what they're fucking talking about. I know it's a big surprise, but like, are you autistic? Very slightly. <laughs> uh, yeah, I Start. Make your point. Go. Keffels is a fucking retard and is a man. A fucking tree. Oh, was and taste makers, make us no chaser. Get the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker. Cut the middle man and inhale the vapors. Man, man. Old ten time drapers. Cut the jukebox on, make the woofers blow. We gon' sit here until all them heifers go. Holler at the tens and. Aggie, 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 yes, and.